it is just bad leadership. Corruption. Prioritizing what we shouldn't prioritize. That is what has brought us here. All of the monies that have been borrowed, the desktop which has gone up from 122 billion to 742 billion. If you ask them, what have they used this money for? I mentioned some of them. The over 600 billion they have added to the desktop. What have they used it for? President Mahama was not this lucky. Did he have these oil fields? All of these monies that have come in. He kept talking about global situations, the pandemic, and conveniently refuses to talk about the over 30 billion cities that came in because of COVID. The huge sums of money that poured in which Auditor General report after Auditor General report shows that it did not even go into managing the pandemic. Again, diverted. The canker of corruption continued. They shared the money amongst themselves like confetti. Some of them have since confessed publicly about what they did with the COVID fund. So President Mahama was not this lucky and yet, we see Terminal 3. We see the whole airport. We see the Kumasi airport, the phase one. We see the medical facilities. Where is your equivalent of the UGMC? Where is yours? Where is your equivalent of the Ridge Hospital? Where is yours? Mention one. President Mahama was nowhere near this lack of seven, 742 billion. Where is your Shai Osudoku hospital? So, it is clear that we will continue to impoverish our people. This government will continue to wreak havoc if we do not boot them out of office and if we do not bring in a new leadership approach that will break free from the cycle of dependence. That is the only way forward. Because you go through this and there are no new ideas. There is no plan for the future. And you see... Doc, the sad part is that their flag bearer, he was talking about Dr. Baumia, who had been presented as having the magic wand. They told us that it is because Ken Ufriata was not listening to him. Now he has his protege as the finance minister. So we thought that some of the things he has been saying on the campaign platform will reflect here. Only for us to see that is the same Ken Ufuriata approach. Indeed, when you, go to, when, you, when you go to the last paragraphs mm -hmm, of this, Ken Ufuriata was hailed to the high heavens. I couldn't believe it. Paragraph 532, I want to acknowledge my predecessor, Honorable Ken Ufuriata, for his leadership and dedication of service in the Ministry of Finance. Wow. The leadership which has brought us here. So, Dr. Baumia has got his protege, who we are told listens to him. So, all the things he has been saying, how come none of them could reflect, at least for the last six months? Six months, half year, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's considerable time to solve the crisis that the people have been saddled with the mismanagement that you have created. E. Levy, how come it couldn't be taken out? Dr. Baumia has been very loud on that, that he doesn't support the E. Levy. 
you go through this media review and there is no tax relief. I don't understand, Doc, why we should be the only country after two years of the WHO <coughs> declaring that COVID is no longer a pandemic. We are still paying COVID levy. Why? The Minister of State or the Finance Ministry says that the effects of COVID um, still um, lingers on and that uh, we are even still paying for vaccines. <laughs> they have no respect for us. The effect of, of COVID is only on Ghana. It's only on Ghana. When every other country you cannot find any country that imposed taxes to manage COVID. That still has those taxes. They have no respect for us. No respect for us. Why should we still be paying COVID levy? Why should we still be paying sanitation levy? Over 40 taxes. And talk to the average Ghanaian. Everybody is complaining about the excruciating pain that these taxes are causing. Have you imported items lately? I'm in the process of clearing medical equipment that I ordered for my constituents. And I'm scandalized at what I have to pay. And this is charity work. You're not going to do any business with it. It's not for profit. You try to import a vehicle now and you pay more than the cost of the vehicle. Dr. Bamia, pretending on the campaign trail, says that he will do something about this. Why not do it now? You cannot put yourself in the same position as former President Mahama. Former President Mahama is not in government. So if he talks about reforms, things that he will do differently, you can only give him power on December 7 when you vote to see what he does. But you, you have the power. All the insiders tell us that you have got your wish. Your protege is now finance minister. You are the head of the economic management team. I mean, what do they take us for? At least some of those, those ideas, those statements you are making on the campaign trail, should reflect in this document. Then we see good faith. Then we see, even if you can't do all, at least one, one, small, you know, even start a gradualist approach. Then we say that, okay, um, this, this, this money is being sincere. So, you are expecting that after betraying us, after showing this treachery, mm, agreeing with us now that you have mismanaged this economy, things should not be as it is. You are going to do things differently. You have the power. You are not an opposition leader. At least let it reflect. Now I honestly pity the next finance minister under the NDC government. And I am glad that former President Mahama has rolled out a raft of major cost-saving measures. Because it's the only way forward. President Mahama is saying that he will govern with no more than 60 ministers. I'm very happy about that. President Mahama is saying that no S. Gratia. I'm very happy about that. He is saying that he is not going to allow this unbridled greed where State assets, we should rather generate resources for our country. Appointees are allowed to buy them. He has publicly declared that none of his appointees will be allowed to buy state assets. The state assets will be made to work. Have you read the SOE's report? The latest report from SIGA. All these SOE's are being run down. And I agree with her ladyship, Sophia Kufu, who spoke yesterday and spoke our mind. God bless her. She said that these SOEs are deliberately run down so that they turn around in sweetheart deals and buy them. They own them. They are not good for all of us, but they are good for a few politicians. God bless the, chief, the former chief justice. And I am glad that some of the policies to expect under the next Mahama administration is that all of these things will stop the wanton dissipation State assets must be made to work for all of us, to generate profits, to create jobs, and to revive our economy. It's the only way you can pay for things like this, all the debt that you are 
you are you are you are you are, you are living for us. Mm. So so as I conclude, Doc. Conclude. As I conclude, let us not forget that we are where we are because of economic mismanagement. And that economic mismanagement, at the heart of it, is corruption, naked corruption and thievery. And I'm glad we'll be going into the ambulance discussion soon. It is things like that, $58 million on National Cathedral. Imagine what $58 million can do on this, on this economy, in this economy. We've used it for a pit. If we had invested that, in the agri sector, you think this will be the Ghana trade report that we are now importing guinea fowl from Denmark, hmm? importing food from Germany? You think that that would, that would have been our situation? If the twelve million dollars that we can find in the name of Pualugu Dam, nobody knows what work was done there, and yet twelve million dollars has been paid. A Japa, twelve million dollars in London, blown in London. Two million dollars on sky train. We are still looking for the South Africans who duped us. Two million dollars. We are looking for them. The shonky shakes who said they were going to give Ajima Menu Sputnik V vaccine. Two million dollars. We are looking for them. I can go on and on and on. There are, there are 31 scandals that I have broken. I alone. 31 which has cost this country billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Imagine what that can do hmm, to transform the lives of people. Unemployment is at an all-time high, 14.7%. People at home, four years, five years. Nowhere to work, no factories, no jobs. And you want to tell us that this is a panacea. This thing that, kick, that kicks the trouble to 2026. 